General Pipe Cleaner's Gen I GL Video Pipe Inspection and Location System is ideal for inspecting and locating buried sewer lines, pipes, and cables. It tells you what the problem is, where it is, and how deep to dig. The self-leveling camera automatically keeps the picture right side up as the camera glides through the line. You always have an upright picture on the monitor making it easier for you and your customers to follow the action. The DVD recorder provides a crisp picture with jitter-free freeze frame. A VCR option is also available. A separate 9-inch industrial monitor provides you with a sharp picture. The built-in titler with full keyboard gives you eight pages of text to easily add your company name and job location to each video you make. A built-in AC-DC converter allows you to operate in the field with truck power alone. Use the internal microphone to add commentary to your videos. The Gen IGL also includes an on-screen distance counter, date and time stamp, LED dimmer control, and picture inverter for non-self-leveling cameras. All the electronics are protected in a sturdy case with wheels telescoping handle and a tilt stand for convenient viewing transport and maneuverability the standard reel holds 200 300 or 400 feet of push rod for inspecting 3 inch to 10 inch lines the sturdy frame is mounted on 8 inch wheels for easy transport the mini reel for 2 inch to 4 inch lines carries 100 or 200 feet of push rod in a compact frame the Gen I GL gives you everything you need to troubleshoot 2 inch through 10 inch lines. This video provides a general overview of the operating instructions and safety procedures for using General's Gen I GL video pipe inspection and location system. Disregarding any of the safety procedures while using the Gen I can result in serious personal injury or damage to the equipment. This video does not include a complete list of all the recommended safety procedures and does not provide specific instructions for every application. Disregarding any of the safety procedures while using the Gen I can result in serious personal injury or damage to the equipment. Remember these safety rules as you operate the system. Check the power cord to make sure there are no cuts or frays. Be sure the unit is plugged into a grounded outlet. Verify that the ground is connected. If the power cord is not long enough, use a three-wire heavy-duty extension cord no more than 50 feet in length. Make sure its grounding prong is in place. Using an ungrounded extension cord is very dangerous. Never use the camera in a drain that has a chemical drain cleaner in it. Do not operate the camera while standing in water. Do not use the equipment in confined areas where combustible or toxic fumes may be present. Be wary of buried power lines, utilities, and other hazards. Before you dig, contact one call and any utility companies that do not subscribe to one call. Have all underground pipes and cables located and marked before digging in the area. Read the operator's manual before using the equipment. Contact General Pipe Cleaners if you have any questions about operation, maintenance, or equipment use. To begin, unlatch and open the padded carrying case and fold down the built-in Titler keyboard. Unwind the interface cord from the reel and plug it into the reel input connector on the command module. Plug the keyboard connection into the connector in the panel. Once all other connections have been made, plug the power cord into the AC connection on the command module. Turn on the command module by setting the power button in the down position for AC power or the up position for DC power. Press the power button on the DVD recorder and wait a few seconds until the light turns red. Then press the DVD power button once again. It will change to green. Wait about 10 seconds for the video to appear on the screen. 
Make sure the power switch on the TV monitor is on and the A, B, and Y, C buttons are out. If you have a mini monitor package, simply attach the power cord and interface cord from the reel to the back of the monitor. The LED dimmer control is located on the back as well. Though the compact mini monitor does not have all the features of the command module, it can be attached to an external recording device. To record, insert a blank disc into the DVD recorder. Wait for the disc to be prepared. This may take a minute. Then press record on the DVD recorder or remote control. You may check your recording immediately by pressing stop and play. But to watch the DVD on another player, you must first finalize the recording. To finalize, press the guider button on the remote control. Select disk tools and then press enter. Select finalize, select go, then press enter to start finalizing. When finalizing is complete, select exit, then press enter. The Gen I locator can detect three types of signals, 512 hertz and 874 hertz signals transmitted from inspection cameras or SUNs, 60 hertz or 50 hertz radiating from active power lines, or 65 kilohertz from an external transmitter used to locate buried metal pipe and utilities. Let's start with an overview of the controls. The on-off button turns the unit on and off. Press it once to turn it on. The antenna select button lets you choose from three antenna configurations. Twin Peak, most often used for camera and sound locating, gives a very precise location. The signal strength peaks when the locator is over the target being located. No is often used for line location with an external locator when locating in congested areas. The signal drops to minimum strength when the locator is over the line being located. Or you can use the left-right arrow, which uses arrows to guide the operator to the target. The arrows indicate the position of the locator relative to the line being located. When the locator is over the target, both arrows display and two beeps sound. Signal strength is shown by a bar graph at the top of the display window and in a numeric display. It is also indicated by an audio tone. The up arrow button is used to increase the gain. If the signal is below 20%, press the up button once to raise the gain or increase the signal to approximately 50%. The down arrow button is used to decrease the gain or signal strength. If the signal is above 80%, press the down button once to lower the gain or decrease the signal to approximately 50%. The frequency button selects the operating frequency. The available frequencies are 512 Hertz and 874 Hertz for camera or sound location, 60 Hertz or 50 Hertz from active buried power lines, or 65 kilohertz for locating buried metal pipes and utilities. To use this feature, an external transmitter is required. The depth button allows you to estimate the depth of a properly located signal source. The locator has four additional functions that can be accessed by pressing and holding the depth button and pressing a second button. The locator has a backlit screen to help you see the display in poorly lit areas. To turn on the backlight, press and hold the depth button and press antenna select. The locator has four volume levels, off, low, medium, and high. To select the volume setting, press and hold depth and press the up button. You have a choice of four units of measure in which the depth is displayed. Feet and inches, inches only, centimeters, or meters. Press and hold the depth button and press the down button until the unit of measure you want to use appears on the screen. A battery icon on the right side of the display shows the locator battery level. Three segments mean that the batteries are at full power. To see a percentage of battery life remaining, press depth and frequency. 
battery strength affects accuracy when locating. Be sure your batteries are at full strength before starting each location job. If the pipe is large enough, be sure to use the three inch skid. It protects the camera head from abrasion and helps it slide around traps. If the pipe is larger than four inches in diameter, you should use either the six inch skid included with standard reels or the optional skids for six, eight and 10 inch lines. To begin, release the reel brake and pull the camera from the reel. Push the camera into the line and adjust the light level as needed. Continue sliding the camera forward down the line. The camera shows you the type of pipe, clay, cast iron, or plastic. It shows you if the pipe is cracked or clogged with tree roots. Push the camera ahead slowly, taking care when negotiating a corner or coming upon an obstruction. Once you see the trouble area, now it's time to locate it. It's much easier to locate a camera when it's closer, within a 10 to 20 foot radius. So start the location process by pulling the camera all the way back. The transmitter, located near the camera, is already activated and transmitting the 512 hertz signal. Push it into the line only 5 to 10 feet from the drain opening. Press the on-off button on the locator to turn the unit on. Check that the battery indicator shows that the batteries are fully charged. Replace the batteries if needed. Make sure the locator is set for the same frequency as the transmitter by pressing the frequency button until the desired frequency appears in the lower right corner of the display. Press the antenna select button so that the indicator points to twin peak on the left side of the display. Press the up button once to automatically adjust the locator's gain for maximum sensitivity. Now hold the locator blade vertical to the ground with the flat edge parallel with the presumed lay of the pipe. You can confirm the direction of the pipe by rotating the locator. The signal strength will be the strongest when the blade of the locator is in line with the pipe. Start from the point of the drain opening. Slowly move the locator forward and back and side to side. If the signal lowers, move in the opposite direction. Continue in the direction of the strongest signal until the locator indicates a maximum of 100. That means you are getting closer. Press the down button one time and the locator will automatically reset to approximately 50%. Continue moving the locator back and forth. Remember to keep the blade of the locator vertical. Watch the bar graph and listen to the audio signal. Move the locator towards the strongest signal, lowering the gain as you narrow your search until you are over the strongest signal response. The camera radiates the peak signal and a lower strength outer marker or beacon, commonly called a ghost signal, in front of and behind the camera. It lets you know you are getting close. The ghost signal can be mistaken for the wrong location of the camera. When you are getting close to the camera, be sure you are not tracking the wrong signal by pressing the down button to lower the gain. Continue looking along the path of the pipe until you receive only one signal. When you receive only one signal in a one square foot area, you've located the camera. Once you have located the camera, mark the spot. Then push the camera ahead another five to 10 feet and start the location process again. Mark the spot of each location. When you are done, you will have successfully and easily traced the length of the pipe all the way to the trouble spot you were seeking. Now that you've found the trouble area, you can easily find how deep it is with the push of a button. First, reconfirm the exact location of the maximum signal. Hold the locator vertical with the tip of the blade to the ground and press the depth button. The depth will be displayed in feet or meters. What's next? Practice. Keep practicing and soon you'll find yourself to be an expert. Be sure to consult your manual for general care of your locator.
If you have questions, you can always call the drain brains at General. General Pipe Cleaners, the toughest tools down the line.